y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. I feel like this weekend would be a perfect weekend to vlog because I actually have a life this weekend. So I just got home from work and this guy automatically just could not wait to be next to all this. I don't mind at all. Like this video if you're- oh, oh, oh. Like this video if you're this close to your dogs. Or more close. Cause this dog is like a baby. It's like a baby. All right, so while I'm waiting for my life to begin this weekend, I'm bored as hell, so I'm gonna be making some cheddar cheese sauce. I just looked up like a basic ingredient and right now I'm just cutting up some cheddar cheese and I don't know. I'm just craving cheese sauce on my chips. Let's see how this turns out and hopefully it's good because this is a lot of cheese that I'm wasting. Like, everybody knows cheese is gold, okay? I finally did it. I made the cheese sauce. Now there's only one way to test to see if this is legit, okay? And that is the taste test. So we're gonna taste it. It's hot. Oh my god, it's bomb. Mmm. A little basic, but it's bomb. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and devour these chips and cheese dip, and I will see you all in a bit. Friends an asshole and got a prank gift box. It's a pet petter. <laughs> it's gonna make white elephant fun. <laughs> no one's gonna want your gift. What That's if someone who doesn't want your gift, they're like, they don't have pets? Then they'll be missing out on the true gift. Of... Which is <gasps> a light box. Which folks could use like in their own office space that they wanted to decorate. Hello friends. This looks very strange. <laughs> we are at Safeway now going grocery shopping. Where are we going next? I need eggs, milk, and bread. Okay, me too. Let's go. It's a half spam. Yeah. Half. Half spam. I'm being a great girlfriend. I'm super lazy. I'm supervising. I got all this salad and those cookies. <laughs> Excuse you, Yoshi. Excuse you. You are interrupting my vlog. So I'm about to head out and meet up with my friend Camille. We're gonna meet up at this boba place called Tihi, and I think it is the funniest name for a boba place. Like, so clever. Camille is another vlogger whom I met through um, being a rep with NTS bracelets, so. Shout out to Nicole for bringing us together. I didn't know she lived in the Bay Area as well. We were both traveling when we first hit each other up on Instagram. But yeah, you guys should check her out. I'll leave her info in the description and somewhere on the screen so you can go check out her Instagram. Her Instagram stories are so sick, by the way. Like, can we just talk about this? Like, her editing, I don't think she, she has a YouTube channel. But her Instagram stories is on another level. It puts my stories to shame, seriously. But um, yeah, so we're meeting up today and I'm gonna get some boba and hang out. And we're actually meeting for the first time. So it should be fun and we're gonna vlog. So yeah. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys there. Oh wait, hold on. Yoshi wants you guys to play with him. Right, Yoshi. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Go get it. I got it. The shortness of being a vlogger. Oh my god. At NTS bracelets. <laughs> Shop now. Get your bundles. <laughs> we need to do intros. Okay, friends. You have not met these people, but. Yay. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Camille. Find yes. me at hel underscore hello cam. Hi. Kimberly, follow me on Instagram at Yes, follow them. They're they they're awesome. They have these bracelets too. Yeah, we're 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 the fans. Uh, it's, the, it's the fans. Behind the scenes of an NTS photo shoot. <laughs> go to a boba shop and then uh, exploit their Christmas tree. <laughs> Look 
けてきます。Hey, so cute, so cute. What's up, friends? So I am back. I just got back from meeting up with Camille and her friend Kim, which I wasn't expecting, but it was such a nice surprise. And I don't know, we just talked. Uh, not necessarily caught up because this was the first time meeting. It was just really, really nice to meet people that are into the same stuff as me. Like, I really felt in my element. I just felt really comfortable talking about my YouTube channel and my journey as a blogger and social media, or trying to be, social media influencer. We just had a really nice conversation about like where we're all at and like how we're all passionate about um, online creation online content creation i just never thought i would make blogger friends in san jose because it's not really like a thing here at least not from what i've seen i, I could be wrong like there could be tons of bloggers in san jose but yeah it's sunday night and i got work tomorrow um so yeah i think i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna clean up get ready for bed and work on the blog and the Instagram because I've been super lagging on Instagram. I decided not to do Vlogmas this year because it really, it didn't really do so well last year. Um, and Vlogmas is killer, guys. So to all of you doing Vlogmas right now, y'all killing the game. Okay, because I didn't even daily upload last year. I just did weekly uploads. So I thought I would just film like the whole month jump around here and there. Yeah, because my life is honestly not that interesting. <laughs> I just go to work. We're on the blog, come home. That's it. Okay. Cool. Peace. because we are putting up Christmas decorations right now. We're hanging the Christmas socks. The socks. <gasps> this is mine! Yeah. But we need one for Bubba because we forgot him. So these are the stockings that we have. There's mine from last year. And then there's Marcus. And then Jalen's, Min's, Daisy. And Yoshi! So we're just about done decorating the tree and stuff and Jalen and I are about to put on the stockings on the wall. So we're gonna do that. Hello friends, what's up? Today is December 16th and I have a dentist appointment today. It's nothing really exciting. If anything, it just gives me anxiety. But yeah. Oh, well, actually, wait, this is exciting because because my sad self is taking my ass to the dentist by myself for the first time. I just realized that usually my mom and I book appointments together and it's been like that ever since I was little. But uh, yeah, today I'm here by myself. Little exciting, but a little sad that the mother-daughter tradition of getting our teeth cleaned is now broken. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go get my teeth cleaned and get a new toothbrush, yay! At least something good happens out of going to the dentist. I mean, dental health and dental hygiene is important too, and, but you know, we all go for the free toothbrush because who pays for toothbrushes now? Not me. Dentist office is an evil place. Let's get out of here before they get me. So normally I don't mind the dentist very much, but today kind of just reaffirmed. Well, every appointment reaffirms why the dentist appointment is my least favorite type of appointments to have because one, there's too much trust happening. Okay, they got little drilling tools and like needles and stuff and they like pick your teeth and you know hands going in your face and like uh, There's too much trust Happening, let's say 
the the supersonic water blaster needle thing. What if it falls out of their hand? You know, like goodbye you. Another reason why I don't like the dentist is because I don't know about you all. If your dentist place has TVs, okay. I know some places don't have TVs while you know you're sitting there, but if your dentist place has TVs, why is it that the cooking channel is always on? I don't know if that's just my dentist office and it's weird like that, but I be getting hungry, like mad hungry after my appointments because all I'm watching is the cooking channel. I think the assistant was new because I've never seen her before and she took like days polishing my teeth. Like it, it was just a regular cleaning, but she did the top finish and I was like, okay, cool. Did the bottom, done, okay, cool. And then all of a sudden she starts going back to the top and I'm just like, wait, where the water at? Like, dude. And then she goes down and starts doing the bottom one again. And I'm like, this bitch, she's stalling. She's stalling for something. I don't know. But you could tell that she was waiting for something. Maybe my doctor wasn't here yet or something. But she was brushing my, she was polishing my teeth for a good majority of the appointment. It got to a point where she was polishing my teeth for so long and never gave me like the water hose of relief. The tip of my tongue actually got really numb or like it felt like my taste buds were dead. <laughs> but when she did give me the water, she only gave it to me for like five seconds and then when I closed my mouth, I still felt the grittiness of the polish and I'm just like, Ugh. I just, I don't like that feeling. It was weird. And then she polished again! Girl! Then my dentist came and I was like, finally, thank you. That means it's almost over. But on the brighter side, I got a new toothbrush. Do all dentist places use the same bag? Cause I feel like they do. Hmm. But yeah, I got a new toothbrush. That's why we all go to the dentist to get free toothbrush. This is, and to have healthy teeth too, of course, but mainly, I mainly go for the free toothbrushes and floss and toothpaste and stuff, so. So, what's up? We're at Target and we're buying presents. Oh, this is good. It's a sticker that's not been damaged. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about hair dryers. Look at these hair traps. Like, look at this. This is supposed to swallow your hair. So what did, did yeah, what did we just do at Target? Oh, uh, we bought his parents' Christmas gifts at Target. We bought a Keurig and a hair dryer. Spoilers. <laughs> your parents are never gonna watch this. Maybe. Wait. And now we're getting Boba. And then he's gonna leave me. The watermelon I will delight with aloe. Mmm. Watermelon. And I got jasmine green tea with crema. 